let's start off by talking about mobile phones. How often do you use your mobile phone? Every day. I cannot live without my mobile phone. I think I'm addicted to it at this point. As soon as I wake up, I have to check my phone. Before I go to bed, I have to check my phone. I cannot go anywhere without the phone. What are your favorite apps on your phone? Instagram, uh, Instashop, which is um, food delivering our website. Amazon. Um, I think that's about it. Very basic apps. Google Maps, of course. Yeah. Do you think it's a nuisance if people use their mobile phone on public transport? No, I do not agree with that. Um, I, I think it's just a way to keep yourself engaged somehow. Somebody would would like to read a book or the other person might want to hear music or just text, whatever. So I, I don't think it's, it's, I think it's completely normal. <laughs> now let's talk about movies. Yeah. When was the last time you went to the cinema? Um, I do not go to movies very often. So the last time I, oh, I went to watch Barbie, which was, I'd say two months ago. Yeah. <laughs> Are cinema tickets very expensive in your country? No, I think it's quite cheap. Where I live now, um, it's, I'd say, maybe £10 for a movie. So not very expensive. And you can get different selections of seats. Um, yeah, the further you go, I think the prices will increase. Do you like to watch films alone or with other people? Uh, it depends. If I'm home, I like to watch movies alone. But if I'm going to cinemas, I would prefer company. Now let's talk about outdoor activities. Do you like outdoor activities? I like being outdoors. So even if it's just walking, I do enjoy it. So anything related to outdoors, I'm, I'm in. <laughs> What outdoor activities did you like when you were a child? To be honest, I did not. Um, I wasn't into sports as a child. I think the only activity I can think of is uh, playing with my friends, running around or um, cycling because my dad tried to teach me how to cycle. I think that's the only outdoor activity I had, I did as a child. Now let's talk about politeness and manners. Are you a polite person? I like to think so, <laughs> unless <laughs> I am mad about something I, on, on normal days. I think I'm very polite. Who taught you to be polite? I think it's just the way you grow up, your values that comes from your family, how your parents speak to each other or to you. I think you see these things and you notice and you learn and adapt into it. So, yeah, I think it's the way you brought up. What do you do if others are impolite to you? Um, avoid. <laughs> um, if I feel um, somebody's impolite towards me, um, if it's a friend, I would obviously um, tell them to, you know, lower their voices. Or, um, but if it's someone else, someone I don't know, I try to um, avoid getting into any kind of interaction with that person. Describe a house apartment that someone you know live in. A few months ago, a friend of mine invited me um, to a barbecue night at his house. So he works for a real estate company. Um, so uh, we went to the apartment, which was uh, the house, um, which was on the palm. It was a three bedroom villa, magnificent, beautiful. Um, as soon as we walked in into the living room, the first thing I noticed was the floor to ceiling uh, windows. Beautiful view of, of the palm. Um, it was three bedrooms, so the bedrooms were on the top level. Um, he gave us a tour of the apartment, um, the house. The master bedroom, uh, that was something I really, really liked. It had this um, walk-in closet and a balcony, which you can see the view um, of the palm uh, from the balcony. And it had a bathroom where they had the jacuzzi, which uh, was outstanding. <laughs> then we had, uh, then when we went downstairs and we had a barbecue in the backyard. So I think it's a good place. Um, for you, for somebody who want to raise kids, the apartment was beautiful. Um, the view was beautiful, and I think it's um, it's somewhat it's it's a place I would like to um, I 
I see myself living in someday. So we've been discussing a, a house that you, you visited and we're going to continue to talk about homes and, and places to live. Okay. What type of homes are most popular in your country? Uh, to thank you for watching this video, I want to give you a free course that has helped thousands of students improve their IELTS speaking score. What it's going to do is take you through every single part of the test and give you strategies for part one, part two and part three and also allow you to practice at home for free and get feedback. To sign up for that for free, all you have to do is just click the link in the description. Thanks very much and let's get back to the video. To be fair, I grew up in the countryside so the houses that that's popular in, on the countryside are uh, mansions or villas um, because the families, they tend to live together. But if you go to the bigger cities, the apartments are more common. So everybody has their own apartment. The parents are separated. The kids are separated. Um, so they like to have their own place. Wherein, where I am from, uh, we, we, we like to stay together, I think. <laughs> What are the advantages of living in a house compared to an apartment? Well, in an apartment, um, I think it's very congested. In a sense, um, you do not have um, a backyard or you don't have a place to just relax and be by yourself. Wherein if you're living in, in a house, uh, the chances are you would have a backyard, you would have a terrace, um, you can just walk outside, have a pet. It's it's very hard to um, um, have a pet in an apartment, I believe. Um, so I think the house, I would, I would, I would probably live in a house if I get a choice. Do you think that it's better to buy a property or rent a property? Um, I personally think it's better to buy a property. Um, from my personal experience, because I bought a property, um, I feel like if you have a property, if you buy a property, you are investing somewhere rather than uh, just giving the money to the landlords. Every month you would pay a certain amount from your pocket, which goes towards the mortgage or um, whatever, the loans. By the end of uh, five years or 10 years, you would have yourself a house or an apartment. Uh, but if you do rent, um, I think it's you're just wasting money. <laughs> to thank you for making it this far in the video, I want to give you 10% off our VIP course. The IELTS VIP course is the most successful IELTS course in the world. That is a fact because we have more band 7, 8 and 9 success stories than any other IELTS course in the entire world. We do that by simplifying the whole IELTS process, supporting you with some of the best IELTS teachers in the world and being with you every step of the way until you get the score that you need. All you have to do is just look down in the description, just click that and you can sign up. If you have any questions about the VIP course, always feel free to get in touch with us. We answer 100% of the questions that we get. Hope that you have become a VIP. If not, enjoy the rest of this free video. Do you agree that there is a right age for people to stop living with their parents? Um, I don't think there is a right age to stop living with their parents. Um, because I, I think it's also about the culture uh, and the way you've been brought up. For me personally, um, I like my space and I enjoy my freedom. So I would, um, I enjoy living on my own, but uh, my family, my brother, he lives with my parents and he takes care of my parents. So I think there's no right or wrong answer. It depends on, um, on you at the end of the day. That's the end of the speaking test. Okay. Well done. Thank you.